Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between pooling of interest method and purchase method. Amalgamation implies a process of unification of two or more companies, which are involved in similar business to form a new company. As per Accounting Standard 14, amalgamation can take place in two ways, that is, in the nature of merger and in the nature of the purchase. When amalgamation is in the nature of merger the method of accounting used is the pooling of interest method, whereas is the amalgamation is in the nature of the purchase, purchase method of accounting is used. In pooling of interest method, the assets and liabilities are recorded at their carrying amounts in the books of the transferee company, whereas in purchase method, the assets and liabilities of the acquired company are recorded in the books of acquiring company at their fair market value as on the date of acquisition. So, let's look into the basic differences between pooling of interest method and purchase method in a tabular form. Difference number 1, when the assets, liabilities, and reserves are combined and shown at their historical values, as of the date of amalgamation, the method is called pooling of interest method. Conversely, when the assets and liabilities of the transferor entity are shown at their market value in the balance sheet of the transferee entity, as of the date of amalgamation, is called purchase method. Number 2. Pooling of interest method is applied when amalgamation is in the nature of merger. However, for amalgamation in the nature of the purchase, purchase method is applied. Number 3. In pooling of interest method, assets and liabilities appear at their book values. Whereas, when purchase method of accounting is used, the assets and liabilities are shown at their fair market value. Number 4. In pooling of interest method, the recording of assets and liabilities of the merging companies is aggregated. On the other hand, when it comes to the recording of assets and liabilities, only those assets and liabilities are shown in the balance sheet of the acquiring company, which are taken over by it. Number 5. In pooling of interest method, the identity of transferor company's reserves remains same, as against, in purchase method, the identity of the transferor company's reserves except statutory reserves does not remain same. And, difference number 6, in pooling of interest method the difference between purchase consideration and share capital is adjusted with reserves, that is, if purchase consideration is greater than share capital. Then the reserves is debited, and credited when purchase consideration is less than the share capital. On the contrary, in purchase method, when purchase consideration is greater than the net worth, goodwill is debited and if the purchase consideration is less than the net assets, then the balance is credited as capital reserves. So, pooling of interest and purchase method are the two important accounting techniques used in the mergers and acquisitions of the companies. They mainly differ, in terms of the value that the combined balance sheet of the company places on the assets of the transferor company. So, these are the differences between pooling of interest method and purchase method. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.